I've been making guacamole for years now. However, I've always wanted one of those stone bowls that you get when you order guacamole at a Mexican restaurant. And so Jordan actually ordered me one on Amazon. This, by the way, is called a mocajete, which is pretty much a Mexican mortar and pestle that's made out of volcanic rock. That's why it's like so porous. So I looked at the insert that came in the box with the mocajete that we got, and there were instructions to cure and season uh, a new mocajete. So I figured I would um, show you guys how I cured and seasoned my mocajete. There were essentially two steps I followed to prep my mocajete. The first one is to cure it which pretty much just uses some white rice. And then the second step is to season, which is completely optional. And I'm not claiming that this is by any means a traditional or authentic method of prepping a mocajete. These are just the methods that I found when I did the research on how to um, prep my mocajete. So I just thought I would share it with you. Another thing to note is with a mocajete, you really don't ever want to use soap on it because it is so porous it's going to soak up all of the soap and you're gonna get food that's gonna taste a lot like soap. Anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on how to prep your mocajete. When you first get a new mocajete, it's going to look something like this, which actually looks a lot different from the one most people are used to seeing when they think of a mocajete. A mocajete that hasn't been cured yet is really rough with very large pores. It's also lighter in color and extremely gritty with a lot of sediments, which is why the curing process is necessary before preparing any food in it. The first thing you want to do when you get your mocajete is to give it a good high pressure rinse and soak. I did this in my sink, but if you have a garden hose with a sprayer, I highly suggest doing this outside as there are a lot of sediment from your mocajete that you don't want going down your drain. I also really like to use a brush or old toothbrush to help dislodge some of the sediment trapped in the crevices. Once you're done brushing and rinsing off your mocajete, let it soak for about 2 hours. Then remove it from the water and set it aside to dry completely for about 12 hours. If you did soak your mocajete in your sink like I did, be sure to slowly drain the sink to avoid as much of the sandy particles from going down your sink as possible, and then wipe them away with a paper towel. Next, soak about a half cup of uncooked rice with enough water to cover it in a bowl and set aside for later. After soaking, your mocajete will be a lot less gritty, but still pretty rough and porous. If used like this, small grains from the lava rock may break off into your food and give an unpleasant gritty texture. You can break in your mocajete by curing it which will loosen and excavate these small particles and also smooth down the surface. There are two steps to curing your mocajete with rice. For the first step, simply add about 2 tablespoons of uncooked rice to the mocajete and slowly start grinding the rice into the mortar with the pestle making sure to work its way up the sides. Once the rice turns into a powdery consistency, dump it out and repeat this process at least 2 more times. For the second step, add about 2 tablespoons of the soaked rice from earlier with some of the water in the bowl to your mocajete. Grind this mixture into your mocajete, much like in step 1, until it becomes a smooth paste. Add more water as needed if the paste gets too thick. You will also repeat this step at least 3 times, rinsing the mocajete in between each cycle. After the curing process, the mocajete will be noticeably smoother than before and should have almost no grit. There will also be white specks from the rice patching in some of the holes in the mocajete, which is perfectly normal. At this point, you can actually start using and enjoying your mocajete the way it is, unless you would like to continue onto the seasoning process. There really isn't one particular way to season a mocajete. That all depends on you and the flavors you want to infuse into your new tool. Some people do so with just a clove of garlic and salt, others add chili peppers and even spices. I'm seasoning my mocajete with a few cloves of garlic, a small serrano pepper, and some salt. Then you just want to mash the ingredients together until it forms a paste. If needed, add more salt to thin out the mixture, then spread your seasoning paste throughout the top of the mocajete and let it sit for a couple hours to marinate. After that, thoroughly rinse your mocajete and set it aside to dry completely before using it. If you're impatient like me, I found that patting it down with a towel really helps speed up the drying time since the lava rock is so porous. Here is what my mocajete looks like after both the curing and seasoning processes. You can see it's a lot smoother, it looks a bit more worn down, and although it's dry, both the grinding surfaces of the mortar and pestle have a darker color to them from the natural oils that were released from the ingredients in the seasoning process. In comparison, here is another look of what this mocajete looked like before both the prepping processes. And there you have it, the ultimate flavor-inducing mashing tool in your kitchen. 
I am so happy with this mocajete. It's made making guacamole so easy and I love it and I cannot wait to continue making guacamole and salsa in this mocajete. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button right there so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!